Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Hedge Up Show, and today we're talking about your photos again. Yeah, man. You guys love this show, and so do we. And we want to see more of your pictures. So email them to pics at greengridiron.com. This is episode 33, my friend. Yeah, so if this is your first time here, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell to see more of our videos, and yep. go check out some of our old videos too. Welcome aboard. Yeah. This is how this works. We are going to review the pictures that you have sent in to us. I'm going to talk about the helmet. I'm going to give you a score between one and 10. Mm -hmm. Steve is just going to talk about photography tips yeah. to make it a little bit nicer than it could be. I'm going to help out your Instagram and Facebook yes. feed. Yes. And yeah. then if one of us or both of us really, if you really blow us away, we can give you what we call a pick mm -hmm. and then you win a t-shirt. We are going to start with Edgar. All right, Edgar. Okay, so what we have here, what looks like right out of the gate, is an ASU helmet. Does not look like an ASU helmet that ASU wore. So we've got a couple of tells here. One, we've got, a, this is a DNA, older. Right. The face mask, I can't tell exactly, but it looks like it may have been painted on top of a used mask. Same thing with the chin strap. Those colors match remarkably close. It's nice. It could be just the lighting. Or they painted them both. Or they painted them both. Yep. The helmet color with the gray, tons and tons and tons and tons of flake in it. Yeah. I like that. So we got decals, the color in the yellow and the decals is a little bit different than the face mask. And they've got the buckles painted also to match the face mask and the chin strap. So I think all of that's pretty, pretty good. I love the idea, love the look. The helmet type selection in this, we all know, is one of the ones that I don't care for. So you're <laughs> definitely going to lose points for that. The paint job on the helmet, that looks like a custom job that did pretty well. Oof, I'm going to go with a 6.2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, Edgar. Appreciate That's it. Right. Next up, Angus. Oh, dude. Oh, boy. So Steve loves nature. That's ridiculous picture. Excellent work. They are taken with a phone on portrait mode. You think? I know, but that's no, okay. You know it? Yeah. It, yeah it's it, an aberration it, somewhere It did some in there. weird little things, but it's but really, really, good, right? it's very good. And he wrote a little thing in here that said, this weekend is the 118th, 118th Brawl of the Wild between Montana State Bobcats and the Montana Grizzlies. They're both ranked in the top 10 nationally. Um, so, oh, each helmet is completely placed together by me, even down to recreating the decals with a lot of GG items as well. I like it. So when you submit more than one helmet, I give a score as an average of all of them. So this is gonna get a score as a collection. A couple of things on here that drive me nuts. Actually, there's only one There's only one thing on here that drive me nuts. Steve, do you know what it is? The, the gray finger face mask. Pin, the fingerprints on the visors. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm a very anti-fingerprint kind of guy. That is so funny because they're so good otherwise. Dude, this guy knows how to take pictures. Like, look at the composition and that he got just this. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, I'm you're doing it, man. You're getting a shirt for this one. Oh, wow. That You're getting it. That is amazing. Well, that takes the pressure off of me. Even so though nice. we've, got, we've got some great TX face masks on here. It's my these, favorite. These are super clean. We've got yeah. a variety of uh, visors, we got some Under Armour, we got some Nikes on here, but I'm gonna give it a super high score because as a collection, this collection deserves it. I'm gonna go with a 9.4. Nice. Losing mm. points for fingerprints. You get a 10 in my book and watch your email for yeah. that code. You will be contacted with an email yep. um, where you can have, a, you're gonna get a code for a free t-shirt, any yep. size and or color in, the, in stock. Great work, Angus. Nice job, Angus. Next really up. Good is Drew, and he said, this is my older brother Tyson's helmet, and the helmet is from Desert Mountain High School in Arizona. All right, we got another one outside. That is very Arizona sunlight. So, another thing that I don't like, Steve, What's gray that? face mask. Didn't I you, announce a little while ago that anything with a gray face mask is gonna lose some points? Yeah, but he. this is you like the send, school's You color. could send, <laughs> Alabama could send in a, the Giants <laughs> could send in a helmet. You're losing points for that. All right. Uh, the chrome decals though, I really like those. So I'm gonna go with this guy. Uh, let's go with a 6.8. Not too bad, not too bad. It's kind of basic setup. So, yeah. You know, Pretty basic, yeah yeah, 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 except for some chrome decals, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that's cool he sent in his brothers. Yeah, we got a visor, he, he put some work into that. He did. 
Next up is Davin. He says, hi, I'm Davin, pronounced D-A-V. E I N. Um, so he is from uh, Honolulu. So that's Aloha. cool. Yeah, that's right. And he said he was on episode 10, so 23 episodes ago. And this is the same helmet with a different look. And I remember the face mask. I just, but this thing, he said it's missing some parts like screws and <laughs> things have fallen off of the TPU liner. Yes. We can help you with that. We have a lot of that stuff on our site. But Anyway, screws are easy. You do need to kind of get in there and <laughs> thing put, you, you got to have the T-nuts because if you lost a screw, you've most likely, most likely lost the T-nut on the inside as well. You pr it looks like you probably need some new TPU liners overall. The only thing out of this, like I love the beat up look. I think it's cool. The one thing I don't think is really smart is like don't use zip ties to hold your face mask clips onto the helmet. That's one thing where that's pushing it. Like, you can really get hurt. Those things are not designed to have impact. Wait, wait, you're not talking about the visor connected to the face mask. You're no. talking about the face mask connected to the helmet. He has the zip ties holding on the clip because he lost the screw. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, David. That's not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Let, yeah. Let, 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 from a safety standpoint, let's make sure that we're using clips and screws. I think we sell the clips for shut helmets for like... $3 or something. Yeah. You beat the hell out of it, so you play hard. <laughs> but from a safety standpoint, this helmet should not be used on the field in this condition. It's true. No yeah. Doubt. Be careful with that. Um, I'm going to go, Steve, on this guy. I'm going to go with a 6.0. And you lost probably a solid point or two for those face you masks. Probably, you may have lost three points. Wow. You've gained yeah. some points here and there. But yeah, all right, not that many. But <laughs> uh, you, you've definitely lost some points. So, let, David, let's get that helmet back up to spec, and then send us pictures and tell us everything that you did to it so we can tell everybody else how to take something, kind of a board before, and before and after. Yeah, and thanks for submitting them again. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Next up is Riley. Oh, my God. So he says, uh, we play for the Forest Rockets, and they were taken after our last game, and so that must have been very recently. So these are several helmets. Okay. Just, all, just wait. All, all taken after the last game of the season? Just wait. Okay. It starts off nice and calm. Ooh. <laughs> so here's what we have here. Um, we've got we've got some helmets that have obviously been painted, started off blue, and then were painted white. Yeah. And I would not be surprised one bit of whoever was wearing this helmet kind of has some nervous tendencies where they're sitting with the helmet on the sidelines they're just kind of picking, picking at, the at it yeah because typically when we see looks like this there's a lot of there's a lot of it looks like it was kind of ripped even the decal has been ripped or cut with scissors or something that's a really straight edge yeah. there um i bet you they did have all those pieces and they probably couldn't even touch it without slicing their hands up so they probably could be like just ripped it all off uh, i mean those gouges you're starting in to see a crack here at the horseshoe at the horseshoe so definitely this, this i mean this one from the top view oh, is actually a done big, there's a big crack in here this helmet should not have been played in the last game because something's big telling me that this helmet has started to crack before the last game that it was played yeah this yeah, last if, one. If you're if you're if you're noticing cracks in your helmet, you got to get a new helmet. Tell Stop. your coach. Tell your equipment guy. Like, yeah. Tell your like, parents. You, you don't wear a helmet just to look uniform with the rest of the team. You wear a helmet to protect your brain and your skull. Yeah. But overall, I'm going to give these helmets because that one has the cracks in it. That's not something that we really like to see. I'm going to go with a five point six. You are being punished. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't typically yeah. go too far below six, but. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling that good things are going to come out of this. You're going to be able to get new helmets. Hopefully, those ones that were yeah. cracked are, have seen the last of their playing days. Yeah. Yeah, and take it. Sand, use it as a project. Sand it down. Repaint it yourself. Go get some spray paint. Get some decals from Coach. And now you've got a collectible that can go on your wall. Yeah, put it up on the yeah. shelf and forget yeah. it. Yep. All right, next up is Nick. He wrote a little thing saying um, he is a freshman lineman. And his dad and him watched the show, so thank you very much. Um, he got some stuff from us, some safe clips, a GG from Bumper, a couple of other things. Nice. So, so let's see what we got here next. Thanks for that. Oh, nice pictures too. Yeah, really nice. iPhone? No doubt. There you go. So yeah. you know. Well, or phone, I yeah. should say. Okay, so 
how do you get points? Nick knows how to get points. You put the green gridiron logo on your helmet before you take the pictures. That's a sure way to suck up. And we love Brilliant. sucking up. That's right? right. So this looks great. I Here's what I instantly like. Besides seeing our logo on a helmet, um, the stripe. Checkerboard. Not only is it cool design, so it's got a really nice mix of black, which is does not look like a chrome. But then you got the chrome red in there. But look at how it's cut. He cut the little end of the horseshoe out. It's great, too. Real, that's not easy. No, it's not easy. Uh, so he went in there with a razor blade and really cut that out so it looks really nice and round. It looks like it's on there like it's supposed to be on there. This is great so, stuff. So nice job there. What do you think of the safe clips, by the way? Um, leave a comment mm -hmm. if you watch this. Uh, let us know what you think. Yep, so oh, I like the red American flag, too. You see that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So some thought has gone into this. I think this helmet looks really nice. Uh, for me, it's going to get a pretty high score. I think the P's look nice on the sides, kind of their, their place good. I would probably have put it up a little bit higher, but that's kind of team preference. Yeah. Um, we got cam locks on there. We've got the beginnings of some rabbit ears on the bottoms, um, which is cool. Uh, large hard cup. Could have put a visor in there, maybe. Steve, I'm going to go with an 8.2. Nice. And that guy. Well, well yeah. deserved. Yeah, good job, Nick. Yes, yes. All right, next up, Rocco. A lot of people wrote in today, which is cool. Um, he is from Nevada and plays for Vegas Strong. Nevada? Yeah, <laughs> 14U, number four ranked team in the nation. Uh, he loves the vids, and he's been here ever since 2018. All right, so well, appreciate it. That's well. cool. Thanks, man. Um, oh, I like these pictures just because that one. That front view with the shelves in the background set up with the Bills stuff. I'll tell you what I like. Uh, we got a white helmet and a white football and a white wall. Yep. I mean, there's some white baseballs thrown thrown in there for good measure as mm -hmm. well. So I, I like that look too. The Bills helmets on the other hand? Yeah. What happened? We knew Rocco wasn't from Nevada. <laughs> I mean, right. come on. Um, <laughs> Rocco. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, overall, pretty. this is a basically your basic white helmet. It's a good decal on the side, though. I like that. We've got a visor thrown in there. we got a matching chin strap. Um, so this one's not blowing me out of the water. No. I'm going to give it some, a little bit of extra credit for bringing the whole white scheme together there. I kind of like that. Yeah. I'm going to go with uh, 7.1. Yeah, most of that is because of your photos. <laughs> so. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> it is okay. You don't need my advice on that really good work. Next up is Omarion. How would you say that? Omarion? Omarion? I'd go with Omarion. Okay. He says he is a player at Pasco High School in Dade City, Florida. And these are our amazing helmets with brand new Speedflex. I mean, brand new. They have the tag on them, dude. Oh, yeah. These are straight from the factory. Yeah. And then the decals were thrown on there. They may have even been put up. I mean, if you got these from Riddell, they might have put the decal on them for you. I don't know if they did that or not. Oh, I am loving this whole setup. Well, Steve, you're a red and black guy. It's great. Right? Yeah, I am. Here's something that I like about this. And to me, this was done, this was done the right way. So what we have here is a black helmet. This is a painted helmet because you can see some sparkle it's in like, there. Yeah. So this isn't your molded, impregnated black helmet. The decal is clear. The, the part of the decal that's black is really clear because you can see the specks of the yep. paint, the flake, through the decal. Yep. Right? So. Which is huge. I like that look. And whoever put these decals down did a damn good job because there's very few bubbles. I love it. Pictures are fine. They don't even have to be that good. It's just that setup is yeah. Awesome. But you got a brand new face, man. It always, it always helps when everything, every, it's like a new car. Yep. Everything is, is great. You haven't had to wash it or clean it or anything like but that. But he capitalized yet. on the fact that they were brand new and said, let me send them in while they're hot. It's <laughs> smart. Yep. And you're going to get rewarded for that as well. <laughs> yeah. but you're going you're gonna to get a lot of points from me for just being able to put that decal down. I'm going to go with a 7.8. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's. I don't think you've ever given that score. I don't know. It's just very... I yeah. don't know. All right, next up is... But good job. Yes, very good. Next up, Seth. Hey, guys, I'm Seth. Uh, I thought I might send in my actual Clemson helmet and another concept that I designed a while back. All in. Go Tigs. Well, go Tigers. 
Hmm, so let's have a good look here. So certainly, uh, let's start with the white helmet. So we got some interesting things going on with the white helmet. Uh, it's got a purple and white stripe on a white helmet. We've got an orange tiger paw on a white, with a, with a white border on a white helmet. Mm -hmm. And then the white and orange visor tabs. And then the, uh, yep, those, I think those are the standard, that's like your Nike orange yeah. color. Um, so, but on a, you know, we've got matching orange zip ties. Holding, yeah. Holding that visor on there. That's kind of cool. That's kind of unique too. So the shut helmet, was this a helmet actually worn by the Clemson Tigers? I am going to say no. No. But, it's an actual collectible. Uh, but I, I went to Clemson, Steve. Yes. So I have a, and we're in Tiger country. So the, the way that we can tell, so there's a couple of different tells here, right? The stripe. Yep. The stripes yep. aren't painted on. The stripe is a, the stripe is a decal where, where Clemson uses uh, painted on stripes. Besides that, though, everything looks really good. Um, you'll notice on the front it says shut. Mm -hmm. So Clemson does have an ACC uh, front 3D bumper that they would have in the front. But yep. what's interesting about Clemson is they're a shut school. So they're one of those schools. It, the Riddell helmets, actually any brand except for shut, will say Riddell, will say Clemson on the back bumper, but it says shut on the back bumper of the shut helmets. Mm -hmm. There's a handful of schools that do that exact same thing. Nice tip. Um, their chin, their, the, cup of the, the cup of the chin strap will say all in. This one has a tiger paw up on it. So he's taken some of his own embellishments, I guess, on yeah. these helmets. So overall... Really nice. Yeah, I'm going to go with... Well, plus, he's a Clemson Tiger guy. That's so I gotta points. Give him points for that, too. I'm going to go with a seven points. <laughs> Unfair advantage. Good for you, Seth. 7.7. .7. Good job, Seth. Go Tigers. And next up and last is Hunter. And dude, these are cool. Okay, so my first first thing out of the gate is I'm thinking this is the Western Kentucky equipment room. <laughs> <laughs> is what's jumping out at me here. So Hunter, is there any truth to that? Hunter didn't tell us the story. So we've, yeah. so we've got rabbit ears. Probably we've, for good reason. Nicely done rabbit ears. Yeah. Right? Almost professionally Almost done. Almost like somebody that. knew what they were doing. Um, we got a Riddell chin strap with the, the appropriate branding for something like this. Is that the a nickel mask is sweet. Yep, we've got a red nickel mask, uh, which we know Western Kentucky uses. The chrome looks great. It's a yep. uh, chrome, I think... Is that a chrome decal? Yeah, the, the, it looks like yeah. a red chrome decal on top to match the decals on the side. Uh, overall, to me, I, I, we don't have a picture of the back of the helmet, do we? Oh, no. So the back of the helmet would have some extra decals on there to kind of let us know for sure is this coming out of the equipment room or not. But from what we can see so far, I think this is the Western Kentucky equipment room. Either way, it's a great helmet. It's Awesome helmet. I love Good, it. Great paint job. I would almost say that this probably hasn't, this exact helmet probably hasn't been on the field all that much. So maybe this is a brand new and everything. It looks great. It I'm going to awesome. go with, um, plus I like Western Kentucky, the team. That helps. Overall. I am going to go with a 9.1. Damn. On this guy here. Good job, but, Hunter. But I have to grade it as a professional helmet. If this was some, a helmet right. that somebody just put together and started from scratch, it would get oh, a higher score 9. than that. 9.9. Yeah. I love this one. This is like my second favorite one of the day. This will go on the title image. Thank you, Hunter. That's all we got time for, man. We're yes. out. Yes. Thank you, everybody who submitted photos. Yep. Congratulations to, who was it that won the t-shirt? Angus. Congratulations, Angus, for winning the t-shirt from Steve. Everybody else also gets something. So you That's will be true. contacted by email with a code where you can get a, a free something. Um, if you have pictures that you want to send in to us to, for us to tear apart and talk about, send them to PICS at GreenGridIron.com. I think Steve yes. will put the information below. Right here. Or right here somewhere. <laughs> um, so like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.